In this video, you will learn how to model a twisted pair cable like this in Blender. Blender version 2.82a is being used while creating this video. Let's start. Select this cube and press X and enter to delete it. Add in a cylinder by pressing Shift plus A, Mesh and Cylinder. Expand this last operation box, set number of vertices to 8, and choose nothing in cap fill type. Go to the side of this object and press Tab to enter edit mode. Press Ctrl plus R keys to add loop cuts, when you see some yellow marks, scroll your mouse wheel up to add few more cuts, then right click to confirm cuts, and left click to release. Come here and increase this number of cuts to 10 and close this box clicking here. Now press A key to select everything. Press S key to scale, press Shift plus Z keys to restrict scaling in Z axis, then press 0.1 and enter. Press 7 on the number pad for the top view. Zoom the view with mouse wheel up until this object fits with the screen. Come here and click this move icon to activate moving hands. Click and drag this red arrow to the left until right vertex of object just passes the median point. Zoom the view and make sure that the median point and the left vertex of object are close but not connected. Zoom out and rotate the view something like this. Press tab to exit edit mode. Right click on the object and click shade smooth. Make sure that the cylinder is still selected and press Shift plus D keys to duplicate and then right click to release. Now rotate the duplicate object on Z axis by pressing R, Z, 180 and enter. You can see it is placed next to the original object because median point is not in the center of the object. Now press and hold the Shift key and click on the object to select both. Press Ctrl plus J keys to join them to make single object. Come here to the right side panel, click this modifier icon, click add modifier and then simple deform modifier. Change this axis to Z, and increase this deform angle up to 360 degrees. Again click add modifier and click array modifier. Set this X relative offset value to 0, and Z relative offset value to 1. Come to the viewport area and press 1 key on number pad for front view. You can see something is wrong in the joints, we will fix that later. Zoom out and pan the view to the down with shift plus middle mouse button. Now increase the count value to make cable longer, in this case we are going to increase up to 10. Apply both simple deform and array modifier. Let's correct these joints now, zoom the view until you can see them properly and press tab to enter edit mode. Press A key once to make sure that everything is selected, go to this vertex menu, click merge vertices and then click by distance. Press tab to exit edit mode and you can see that joints are nice and smooth now. Let's bend this with curve now. Zoom out and rotate the view little bit like this. Add in a curve by pressing Shift plus A, Curve and Bezier. Scale it up by pressing S, 10 and Enter. Select this twisted cable, go to Modifier section, click Add Modifier and Curve Modifier. Click this little object icon, and select Bezier Curve and change this deformation axis to Z. Press 7 on the number pad for the top view, go to this outliner section, click this Bezier curve to select it, come back to the viewport area and press tab to enter edit mode. Come over here and click this move icon to enable moving hands, click and drag any vertex or moving hands to bend this cable as per your requirement. And press tab to exit edit mode. You can select this cable and apply curve modifier to make it final. After applying curve modifier you can select and delete this curve anytime. And this takes us to end of this video. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and leave a comment.